This is Rachel Donadio reporting from Rome for the New York Times. On the same day they were awaiting a new prime minister for Greece after Prime Minister George Papandreou agreed to step down, the pressure now moves to Italy where, believe it or not, Prime Minister Silvio Berlusconi, it looks like his days are numbered. What has brought him to this point is not any of the many corruption scandals that have always dogged him or the underage girls or all the other very colorful issues, but really the markets. I mean, the fact is that last week the International Monetary Fund announced that it would be monitoring Italy. Italy has requested their help. Unclear who asked for what. In any case, it's very rare for an economy the size of Italy's to be monitored by the IMF. This week, also, the European Commission will be coming to town to make sure that the Italian Parliament is capable of passing, again, reforms to help bring down Italy's borrowing costs. Those went to a record high on Monday of 6.6%. If Italy continues to have to pay that much on its debt, it's not not going to be sustainable. And so the clock is really ticking for Berlusconi. We don't know how long he can last. The other problem is that there's a crisis of politics in Italy. If he's out, no one has any clear sense of what happens the next day. There's a lot of talk of people wanting a technocratic government, that is, a government led not by a politician, but by an expert who would have the power to push through unpopular reforms without fearing that he'd never be reelected. It's unclear whether that can happen because the one person who doesn't want that to happen is Silvio Berlusconi. But the fact is that his advisors on Monday were urging him to step down for the good of the markets. 